Councillor Carnock saying the Minister can be under no illusion as to the strength of feeling on the proposed closure of Dalriada. Well, we've had several mass mobilisations and this is the first time we've taken it to the doors of the, the Assembly and we've taken almost 20,000 signatures, which represents basically a signature per person within the whole district of Moyle. This has been a huge campaign fought across community. There are people here who use the MS respite facility and the hospital, patients, carers, staff, past and present all associated with this facility. So we're taking it to the Minister. It was a health trust. Chief Executive made this decision. We are now calling the Minister to urgently intervene to reverse this decision before it's implemented at the end of November. Where does the campaign go after here? Well, tomorrow night we're continuing with the, the public meetings that we've been having across the district and further afield. Tomorrow evening we'll be in the Dunluce School in Bush Mills. We're having further protests and there's a, a, a planning um, committee set up and we do have further suggestions and ideas to bring this pr protest back up to Stormont in a very quirky, unique way. But, you know, this has been fought on several fronts. It's very important to get people on the street. It's also very important that we're presenting the Minister with various options and you know we've did a lot of uh, financial work in terms of how this does not stack up. It's a flawed argument, it's um, based on a false economy and today we're looking at Corian, Causeway Hospital being on red alert because there's bed blocking happening as we're standing here while this decision is being not taken. So we're calling the Minister now to make a, a, a U-turn in this. It's really heartening for people who have travelled here to see so many MLAs from various parties coming down to join the protest and also for the Health Committee Chair, uh, Mia McLaughlin, to attend the protest as well. Um, the Minister did engage and there was a you know, question and answer session informally with the Minister. So we hope that he has listened to us and that he has taken on all of the arguments on board and that he comes back immediately and is to, to reverse this decision. Philomena Dalriada comes to Stormont. Absolutely, here we are. We said we'd make it here and we're here. And we're going to just say no, no alternatives, no nothing, no respite at home, no nursing homes, no replication of the Dal. They're asking us what do we need? Well, why ask a stupid question? Because we already have what we need. Let us stay in the Dal, save the Dal, uh, staff, train staff, all the equipment, all the facilities, why do they want to go to the expense of trying to replicate a perfectly perfect place? You met with uh, Joint First Minister Martin McGuinness. How did he receive you? Very well. Very well. Now he listened to the stories. Everybody had a story, not a story to tell, but everybody had their position to explain. And he listened very attentively and he, said he welcomed what he'd heard. I think it went quite well actually. Do you feel you left with his support? I think I did. I asked him and he said yes. Very few people in Moyle today, they've all come with us on buses today sh to show their support for Dalriada Hospital. We're particularly overwhelmed that so many of our patients uh, have taken time to come with us on days really when a lot of the MS patients should be resting in the afternoon, they're here with us and that is just completely overwhelming for our staff to realise that we're as special as that to them. You met with Martin McGuinness, Deputy First Minister, what was your take on that? That was very encouraging. He listened very well. He was particularly receptive to the MS patient that spoke to him. He seems to have uh, a good knowledge of the condition of MS. He knows a couple of people who suffer from it and I think you know, you've know you made a major breakthrough when you find somebody who understands the condition. Of course Minister of Health Jim Wells came out to meet you. How did you think that went? Jim Wells is a very pleasant man. He listens very diligently to all that's said to him. I just hope that he finds the strength to do the right thing. Dahi Mackay, must be nobody left in Ballycastle today. Absolutely, Ballycastle has descended uh, on the hill on Stormont here today uh, and the protest today was absolutely fantastic, so well done uh, to all those involved. They sent a clear message directly to the Health Minister at the foot uh, of Stormont that they will not accept the closure that is being foisted upon them by the Northern Trust and the Minister has to intervene and the Minister has to reverse this, this decision. Very powerful testimony again from staff and patients alike about the importance of the work carried out in Dalriada. 
Absolutely, and what we found out today uh, is that there is bed blocking going on in the Causeway Hospital. The patients that should be in Dalriada are not being allowed to go through the doors, so they're going to Causeway, they're taking up acute beds, and that is costing the health service many thousands more pounds than it would be if they were in Dalriada. So this is a false economy. Uh, this is something that the Minister seems to have uh, taken on board fully from the Trust. He needs to challenge the Trust. He needs to challenge the trust figures and he needs to make the right decision because the economic decision is to keep Dalriada open in line with transforming your care. A delegation from the group managed to get in to see Deputy First Minister Martin McGuinness. Absolutely, I wasn't able uh, to make that meeting as the debate was going on uh, in the chamber, uh, but I spoke to Martin afterwards uh, and he was very taken aback from the testimony uh, that was made by people from Valley Castle. So we as a party uh, will continue to support this campaign uh, at all levels. Uh, we've done so uh, at grassroots level from Councillor Cara McShane up to myself uh, and, and our ministerial team as well. What we want to see uh, is cross-party support for this. The cross-party support uh, for this campaign has been excellent up to now uh, and we need to maintain pressure on the Health Minister until he makes the right call. In many patients from the Dalriada, including many AMS patients, came here uh, on a cold, chilly November afternoon uh, to pre pre present the petition to the Minister uh, and to make their case heard. So that was absolutely fantastic. Uh, the Minister, however, needs to come off the fence. Uh, I put it to the Minister uh, that if he is actually considering uh, keeping the Dalriada Hospital open, what he needs to do is to send instructions to the Northern Trust to stop their running down of this hospital, because running down at this hospital has been taking place over the past two weeks. If the Minister is seriously considering this case, then he must call a halt to that right away until he makes his decision. Di Mackay, they say 24 hours is a long time in politics. Absolutely. Uh, whilst we were here yesterday with uh, patients of the Dalriada, with staff of the Dalriada uh, and the support they have from Bally Castle. Whilst we, we were here listening to the Health Minister state categorically uh, that he would listen to the case and consider the case to keep Dalriada open. Whilst that was happening, uh, staff uh, from the Northern Trust went into the hospital in Dalriada to speak to the remaining staff there to say that the patients there would be out uh, on Friday, that staff will be redeployed uh, in the days ahead and to be frank the Health Minister must have known that was happening yesterday. The people of Bally Castle are angry uh, at what happened yesterday. Uh, it was quite a, a despicable move uh, for the Northern Trust to wait until the people's backs were turned, until the people had come up here to storm it to make this move. It was cynical, uh, it was uh, insensitive uh, and the Health Minister needs to apologise uh, to the House, he needs to apologise to the people of Bally Castle and the patients of Dalriada for the shoddy way in which they were treated. Thank <laughs> you.